My name is Bob Wilson from autoenglish.org where people learn English for free. This film is about irregular verbs. What is an irregular verb? What is a verb? A verb is an action. Think, run, speak, write. English verbs are regular and irregular. In books, we see them in three columns. Infinitive, past simple, past participle. What is the infinitive? The infinitive is the basic or base form of a verb and it has no subject and no verb tense. So it isn't in the past, the present or the future. It's nowhere. The past simple always has a subject and the past simple is a verb tense. The past tense situates an action in the past. I lived in London in 2003. Anne lived in France. She lived in Paris. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. The past participle is similar to the infinitive because it has no subject and no verb tense. The past participle is used to make the present perfect and the present perfect connects the past with the present. I have lived in Valencia for 15 years. I love it here. The past participle is also used to make the passive. The Prime Minister was eaten by a shark. Look at these regular verbs. The past simple and the past participle have the same letters at the end. What letters are they? ED. Right. So, the past simple is the same as the past participle for regular verbs. Easy, huh? Now, let's look at the irregular verbs. We can see three families of irregular verbs. Firstly, the no change verbs where the infinitive, the past simple and the past participle are all the same. This is really easy. Listen and repeat. Cost, cost, cost. The second family I call one change verbs. You have the infinitive, then it changes to the past simple and the past participle is the same as the past simple. This is also the case for regular verbs. Listen and repeat. Have, had, had. And the last family, the third family, are the two change irregular verbs where the infinitive, the past simple and the past participle are all different. Repeat. See, saw, seen. Now, Let's look at more. No change. Listen and repeat. Cost, cost, cost. Let, let, let. Put, put, put. Shut, shut, shut. Exercise is convert from present simple to past simple. Example, it costs three euros. It cost three euros. Now you. She lets me use her PC. She let me use 
her PC. He puts his shoes by the front door. He put his shoes by the front door. The shop shuts at eight. The shop shut at eight. The second family of irregular verbs, the one change regular verbs. You can see the past simple is the same as the past participle, which is the same for regular verbs. Now listen and repeat. Buy, bought, bought, have, had, had, leave, left, left, sell, sold, sold. Now quickly, buy, bought, bought, have, had, had, leave, left, left, sell, sold, sold. Exercise. Convert from the present simple to the past simple. Example. He buys fish. He bought fish. Now you. She has two bikes. She had two bikes. He leaves at seven. He left at seven. He sells solar panels. He sold solar panels. And now for the third family, the two change regular verbs, you can see that all three columns are different. Listen and repeat. Break. Broke. Broken. Drive, drove, driven, forget, forgot, forgotten, write, wrote, written. And now quickly, break, broke, broken, drive, drove, driven, Forget, forgot, forgotten. Write, wrote, written. Exercise. Convert from the present simple to the past simple. Example. He breaks things. He broke things. She drives to work. She drove to work. She writes a lot of emails. She wrote a lot of emails. And if you want to study irregular verbs in more detail, come to autoenglish.org, where everything's free. There are interactive online crosswords and printable word searches. You can also download MP3s for learning the irregular verbs. So, it's goodbye from me, Bob Wilson. Ciao.